the Secret Service goes into action. Final results are certain, yet constant danger and death face the government men. Can Jack Holt live through to the finish? He's exposed himself to the underworld, disguised as ex-convict Nick Farrell. He's laid plans to capture a gang of counterfeiters, but is suddenly discovered. Oh, you and that double-crossing wife of yours thought you'd trick me. Well, you're gonna get yours now. Head for the shore, stool pigeon. to Crimp Evans? No, as far as I could see, he never came up. How are we going to find the gang's hat out now? We'll have to wait till daybreak, and then try and locate it. And if we do, I'll send you back to the department with a message. That sounds easy. Let's hope it will be. In the meantime, i got to find a place and try these clothes. All right, they shoot first and identify you afterwards. What's Blocky shooting at? I don't know. Get Ballard. Keep him busy. I'll get him. Ballard, Blocky is signaling from the hill. I down. I'm taking a message from the boss. Check. Well, the boss says Evans and Farrell broke jail. They'll probably head here. Well, let's see who Blackie's shooting at. It may be them. Blackie's shooting his head off. Yeah, he must have spotted him. Yeah, but that's too many shots for a signal. Get up there and find out. Blackie might kill him by mistake. I'm glad you came. This bird was getting a little tough, so I had to trim his wings. Come on in, Kay. He's tamed. Boy, what a reception. Who's this? That's my wife. She sprung us out of jail. Huh. Where's Krim? He drowned when our canoe upset. I couldn't handle both of them. How do we know this is straight? It's straight, all right. Valden got word from the boss about the escape. Do we go on, or do we stay here and gas? I don't know about her. The boss don't like women. Yeah, what kind of a guy is he? Quiet, kid. Either she goes on or I don't. That suits me. I don't aim to suit you, Lug. You don't mean anything to me at all. Well, let's go. I'll explain why she's here. If it wasn't for her, we'd still be in the lockup. Yeah, Crump would still be alive. What do you mean? Ah, cut it out. Get back to your station, Blackie. Okay, Nick. All right. Careful, lady. There's some drop down there. Well, that ain't Crimp with Farrell. Huh. It's a girl. Things are picking up. Yeah, you're crazy. You know how the boss feels. No matter how he feels, I'm saying it's a girl and a good looker, too. I'm afraid you're right, Tony. That means trouble.
Get back there and let me greet him. This is Nick Fowl and his wife. How are you? Hi. Right. You're getting careless, aren't you? You know the boss's orders about women? Don't blame him. I took over. Say, who are you anyway? I'm Valden, in charge here. Come inside. You'll meet the boys later. Well, here we are. <coughs> Make yourselves at home. Oh, are my dogs barking? Nice little hideout you got here. What happened to that engraver we grabbed? Well, he's safe. We've got him over in the mine doing his stuff. Now, let's have your story. You know, I've seen that guy someplace. Oh, don't bother about him. Say, he's got a nifty wife. Oh, watch her step. Don't worry. Well, I guess I better get back to work. There you have it. We're lucky to be here. <laughs> From the looks of this joint, Crimp is the lucky Oh, one. shut up, will you? Frankly, Farrell, no offense meant. I don't like the idea of your wife being here. Well, that's a hot one. Well, where else could she go? The cops knew that she sprung us. Why, they'd get her and give her the works. Look, being here is no idea of mine. I know a lot of places I'd rather be. You're here. lucky to be alive. Quit your squawking, will you? If I'd known you were going to bring me to a dump like this, I'd let you stay in jail. You promised me swell clothes and night spots, and look what I'd get. I don't like this. You don't like that trap of yours, I'll shut it for you. Come on and try it. I dare you. Cut it out, both of you. See why I don't like women around? They make trouble out of nothing. Never mind, I can handle her. Says you. Now get a load of this, wise guy. I'm ready to leave here right now. You get me a guide and I'll scram, and the sooner the better. Get her a guide and let her scram. I'll spend the rest of my life in the pen rather than being around her. Farrell, I make the decisions around here. Now that she's here, she'd better stay. There's a cabin across the way she can use. You can bunk with the boys. Well, I'm not staying. I don't like the company. That goes for you and you and the rest of the mob I've met. You'll stay, nevertheless. And I'll see that the company doesn't bother you. You better do what he tells you. And keep that lip of yours buttoned up, or I'll knock your silly block off. Come on, I'll show you to your cabin. All right, but only because I have to. I don't like Farrell's story about what happened to Crimp Evans. Yeah, it sounds fishy to me. Crimp was a good swimmer. How come he drowned and Farrell and his woman escape? I mean to ask him. Look out, Tony. The guy is dangerous. Don't start anything you can't finish. There you are, Mrs. Farrell. It's all yours. Thanks, mister. You're generous. Send me some chow. So long, ungrateful, and don't come knocking at my door, because I'm home to no one. Sometimes I wonder why I ever got married. I should have stayed in jail. Come on and meet the rest of the boys. Boys, this is Nick Farrell. He's joining us for a time. Hi, you, Farrell. Hi. Well, I guess I'll go over and see how my wife's getting along. You better not. Don't worry. I know her. I thought you were going to ask him. Hey, Farrell, just a minute. We want to know just how Crimp Evans got drowned. I just told Valden. I ain't explaining to you. Well, you'll explain to me and like it. Don't shoot, Farrell! Keep out of this, Valden. I want to show these birds that I'm to be respected. Oh, my whole day's work shot. <laughs> you can't help but show off, can you? Well, don't sell me nothing. You're still a bust. Be careful how you play with those things. You fool, you. I told you he was tough. I know that guy from someplace. If I could only remember names. I'll find out through that wife of his. Not much time. I'm Holt of the Secret Service, working with this gang under the name of Nick Farrell. How do I know who you are? I can prove it by giving you a code number. X524. Right. 
Now, you do the listening and I'll do the talking. I heard you was hungry, so I brought you a little snack. Thanks, big boy. Small favors, gratefully received. Tell me, is Valen the head man? No. I think the big boss is in the city. Valen takes the money there. Oh. Well, I've got to get that word somehow to the department. But get me away from here. They beat me terribly. Forced me to make those plates. I'll do what I can when I can, but we're both in a tough spot. Now, you do anything that they tell you. Work, but work slowly. I'll do the best I can to protect you. Thanks. Thanks. I've met that husband of yours somewhere, but it eludes me. Where does he hang out? Nick's brother. All talk comes from him. Our quarrel is private. Get it? Okay, just wanted to help. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're a brave man, Tony. If Harold saw you come out of there, he'd rub you out. Well, he didn't see me. I mean to place that guy. I won't rest until I do. All right. I warned you. Go away. I don't want to buy nothing. Everything all right, wife of mine? No, it's not. I want to get away from here, and I don't mean maybe. It's all right, Kay. We're in the clear. Listen, this guy, Black, he's got possibilities. He's plenty dumb. We'll concentrate on him. I'll start a scrap, and you work on him. Have you got it? I tell you, I saw him go in there. All right, you stay here. I'll find out what's up. All right, Jack, I'll do my part. Look out. Scram, Nick, and stay away from here. The boss told me I wouldn't be bothered. I don't care what the boss told you. I'll come in here any time hey, I want. Nick! Why rile her up? Leave her alone. Well, then that goes for everybody, including you. But just remember this. You watch your step, because I got my eyes open. All right, I'm down. Getting head up won't help any. Well, it helps me. I'll get you out of here as soon as the heat's off. Well, the sooner the better. I crave excitement. There's none around here, that's certain. Uh, don't be too sure. The wife of yours craves excitement. Yeah, and I'm going to see that she's not going to get it. You know, Val is pulling a lot for Bloom up by letting him stay here. But they're both hot in a forest fire. Ah, oh, come on. But what do you do? Two diamonds. Pairs. Oh, speak of the devil. Why don't you join the game, Farrell? They still have some good money. All right. What's the matter with you, sawpuss? Still sort of being around here? Yeah, plenty sore. Well, why don't you start something? I'd love to mush you up. I don't like that pan of yours anyway. Hey, no trouble, fellas. <laughs> there won't be any trouble, Valden. I could take care of six apes like him any day. You're taking in a lot of territory, ain't you, Farrell? Not more than I can handle. We'll find out. Surely you haven't had enough. You brute, you. Well, if you fellas haven't had enough, I'm still paying off. What do you want to do? Kill him? He's badly hurt now. Why don't you guys help him? Why should they? You doing all right, ain't you? You better get him out of here. I still don't like his pants. Now I'm sure I've seen you someplace before. Recognize my style, eh? Well, I've been around a bit. This won't do, Farrell. Seems to me you're going out of your way to make trouble. Maybe so. I always was hard to get along with. Well, I'm gonna go out and get a little air. Let you guys talk about me. And maybe you can make up your mind where you saw me. You 
you got a tough break. You took a beating and now Valden will probably bowl you out for fighting. Why don't you ditch this mob? With your brains, you could go places. That's right. If I had a chance. There's nothing here for you or me either. I want to get away. Would you go with me? What do you think? We're as good as gone. I'll tell you how later. Adding nursing to the rest of your accomplishments? If you never speak to me again, it's soon enough, you big gorilla. Listen. Don't let that mercy stuff get you in trouble. Remember, I'm warning you. <laughs> you better watch your help, Falden. See us. He's terribly jealous. What's your plan? I'll fix it with Spike to take his place on the last watch. I'll meet you on the cliff then. Right, just before sunup. yourself and make your act good. A lot depends on it. Nothing to worry about. They don't suspect a thing. Blackie was a cinch. So it's the old double cross, is it? I should have known better to trust a doll. So what? So we're going down below and have a good old-fashioned powwow. Get going. And no funny stuff. All right, down you go. I'll signal them to meet you. of the counterfeit money. Will the Secret Service be able to destroy this wicked den? And why have the counterfeiters imprisoned Kay? Will that message they struggle for disclose her identity? Don't fail to see Illicit Wealth, next revealing chapter of Hope of the Secret Service. <laughs>